what is going on everybody today i wanted to recap the spring transfer portal window and i wanted to talk about some of the biggest additions from this spring i also wanted to talk about the biggest winners from the spring transfer portal window because there sure was a lot of winners so let's start off with looking at the team that may have been the biggest winner this spring and that team is the miami hurricanes they have already made a big impact this offseason but the cherry on top was when they added one of the best available players in the transfer portal, Damian Martinez. And you could definitely argue that Damian Martinez is a top 10 college football running back. And he may have been the best available player in the spring transfer portal window. Damian Martinez was an all Pac-12 first team selection in 2023 only as a sophomore. He ran for 1,185 yards and he averaged 6 yards a carry which is very good. But Miami did not stop there because they went ahead and added a very good receiver out of the transfer portal, and that guy is Sam Brown from Houston. Sam Brown led Houston in receiving yards last season with 815. Miami also added multiple defensive additions, most notably defensive tackle Simone Barrow from Michigan State. He has had 30 career starts, 118 tackles, and 10 sacks on his career. Miami also might not be done because they are still in the mix to land a top edge rusher out of the transfer portal, and that guy is Tyler Barron from Tennessee. Tyler Barron is one of the few big names left in the portal. So Miami is definitely doing an incredible job in the transfer portal this spring. Safety Jacoby Matthews is another big name left in the portal. And he will likely be landing at Washington. The Washington Huskies have been quietly adding players through the transfer portal. They have 28 transfers and they have the third best transfer portal group in the Big Ten. And let me tell you, if Washington was to add Jacoby Matthews, that would be a huge pickup for the Huskies. Washington also added running back Jordan Washington from Arizona two weeks ago. So they haven't been super active lately, but they have been a team flying under a lot of people's radars when it comes to the transfer portal. And I think head coach Jed Fish is definitely doing a solid job in the portal. Another team that has done an incredible job in the transfer portal is UCF. They brought in a lot this spring. They have brought in variety, and they were definitely one of the most impressive teams this spring. They brought in the MAC Offensive Player of the Year, Penny Boone at running back. So if you look at that backfield for UCF, UCF has two running backs on the roster who ran for well over 1,000 yards last season. RJ Harvey and new transfer portal addition Penny Boone are going to wreak havoc on Big 12 defenses. UCF also added many talented defensive guys like Nigel Kelly from Miami, who was a former top 100 recruit. They also added Cedric Hawkins from Ohio State, and he is also a very talented recruit. UCF also added wide receiver Jacoby Jones from Ohio. Jones had 777 yards and 6 touchdowns in 2022, but he missed most of the 2023 season due to injury. UCF also added a talented quarterback in Ja'Cory Brown. Obviously, he will not start next year, but he can be a future starter. And in general, UCF added many unproven but talented players, especially on the defensive side. But Penny Boone has proven himself as a big-time running back and he will definitely be a guy for UCF in 2024. And overall, UCF has done an incredible job this spring at bringing in a variety of players, and they definitely have a bright future with head coach Gus Malzahn. Another team with a bright future is the Auburn Tigers. Obviously, they have a tougher path than UCF because they are in the SEC, but head coach Hugh Freeze has done an incredible job in the recruiting trail, and he also added one of the best wide receivers from the transfer portal this spring. They added Keandre Lambert-Smith, who was a huge addition for Auburn, because he can be that mentor for the younger and talented receivers at Auburn. Auburn also has multiple four-star receivers in the class of 2024, and of course, they have a five-star stud at receiver who is Cam Coleman. So adding a guy like Keandre Lambert-Smith was big for this Auburn offense, because he could be a leader for the younger freshmen joining this team, and Auburn should be much improved on the offensive side of the ball next season, and I really don't have any doubts about that. They have a lot more talent, and Peyton Thorne should improve at quarterback. Peyton Thorne has already shown early signs of improvement for Auburn during spring football. And Auburn also added multiple defense alignment. Auburn should definitely be a solid team next season, and they have the pieces necessary to compete in every single game they are in. And they definitely had one of the biggest impacts on the transfer portal this spring. Oklahoma is a team that people have a lot of questions about in the trenches, but head coach Britt Venables has taken a step forward at improving the trenches this spring. They added offense alignment Branson Hickman from SMU, and he should start immediately. He started three years for SMU football, 
But the big addition that Oklahoma made this offseason was adding a huge addition on the defensive line by adding Damonic Williams from TCU. He was the best available defensive lineman this spring, and he was a freshman All-American in 2022. He totaled 60 tackles, 9.5 tackles for loss, and 4.5 and sacks in two seasons playing for TCU. He was definitely one of the biggest transfer portal additions this spring. He's a big addition to help beef up the line of scrimmage for Oklahoma, and that's going to be huge for Oklahoma heading into the SEC. And I definitely have my questions about what Oklahoma football is going to be in year one in the SEC, but there is no denying the success that they have had this spring at building the trenches through the transfer portal. So we'll see what Oklahoma can do in the future. The Oregon Ducks are a team that didn't really need to make any big additions in the transfer portal this spring. The only real question they had was that defensive tackle after losing Ben Roberts. But Oregon added exactly what they needed by landing defensive tackle Derek Harmon, who was a two-time All-Big Ten honorable mention. Oregon also added four-star safety Peyton Woodyard from Alabama to help add to an already stacked secondary. He's a great pickup for Oregon because he still has many years of eligibility left and he should be a future playmaker for Oregon. And Oregon didn't get any massive additions this spring and they didn't get much out of the portal this spring, but they got what they needed and somehow they upgraded their roster even more. So let's definitely give a shout out to what Dan Lanning is building over there at Oregon and they are looking scary heading into next season. Kalen DeBoer for Alabama is slowly getting comfortable at Alabama and he has definitely made an impact this spring. It started with them bringing back five-star offensive lineman Caden Proctor, who transferred to Iowa months ago. So having Caden Proctor back on the offensive line is big for Alabama. Kalen DeBoer has put in the work this spring in the transfer portal, and Alabama has a top three 2024 transfer portal class. They recently added four-star safety King Mack from Penn State as well, so the secondary is shaping up to look pretty solid heading into next season. Keon Saab also transferred before the spring transfer portal window, and he should be a big playmaker for Alabama in the secondary in 2024. We'll see how the results show on the field, because there is a lot of pressure on Kalen DeBoer in Alabama after the retirement of Nick Saban. But let's not forget that Kalen DeBoer just led Washington to a national championship last season, so absolutely anything is possible, and I think Alabama still definitely has a national championship ceiling. One team that you could consider a loser, but also a winner from the spring transfer portal window is Colorado. I know they lost a lot, but they also added a lot, and obviously I can't overreact because they didn't add any huge additions, but they did add a lot of players, and Dallin Hayden was a pretty solid addition at running back. Colorado added way too many players for me not to talk about them. They added four offensive linemen, and Colorado also added some solid additions at linebacker. The additions they made this spring will not get talked about a lot, but they landed Hill Green who had 73 tackles as a team captain for Charlotte last season. Obviously, Charlotte is only a group of five team and they were not that good last season. Colorado didn't add any big names that everybody is talking about, but they did add a lot, and I think we could consider them a winner despite them losing Dylan Edwards at running back. There's a lot of new faces on this team, but I think a bowl game should be a realistic expectation for Colorado in 2024. Running back Rashad Amos originally committed to Colorado, but he did decommit from Colorado, and he just recently committed to Ole Miss. Ole Miss has been the king of the transfer portal in general this offseason, but they had their questions at running back after losing Quinshawn Judkins. But replacing a running back isn't too difficult in today's college football, and Ole Miss added some solid additions at running back with Henry Parrish and Rashad Amos. Ole Miss didn't add a lot this spring, but they added two quality running backs, which was one of their biggest needs in the transfer portal. And they also added four-star cornerback Isaiah Hamilton. So I do think we could consider Ole Miss a transfer portal winner this spring. I think Georgia was also a winner in the spring transfer portal because they picked up Jaden Rashada, who was a former four-star quarterback out of high school, and he was the number six quarterback in the class of 2023. He is a young guy that makes the future of the Georgia Bulldogs quarterback room very bright. And I know he's the only player that Georgia picked up this spring, but I definitely can't ignore that pickup. And Georgia picked up one of the most talented quarterbacks in the portal, and he could definitely be next up after Carson Beck. And Georgia doesn't pick up a lot of players from the transfer portal, but Kirby Smart probably knows what he is doing by signing a quarterback like Jaden Rashada. Georgia is set at quarterback because the quarterback room is stacked with Carson Beck, but also guys like Gunnar Stockton and now Jaden Rashada waiting for their time to shine. A quarterback sets the foundation for a team, and a good quarterback makes Georgia a championship team because we know the defense is always going to be elite. 
So you give them a quarterback and that is just a bonus. But the last team I wanted to talk about for this video is the Florida Gators. They definitely have more of a sleeper chance for Portal class. But in just the span of three days, they added two very high upside players. They added Elijah Badger, who was one of the best receivers from the spring transfer portal window. And Elijah Badger was the leading receiver for Arizona State last season. Florida needs another guy at receiver. And Elijah Badger was a big four-star pickup for Florida. But Florida also added the controversial Kamani McLean, who was a former five-star cornerback out of high school. And ultimately, a lot of teams didn't want him because of his lack of discipline and hard work. And he definitely didn't do much at Colorado. But imagine if Carmani McLean gets it together and lives up to his full potential. Because he could really be a huge piece for the Florida secondary. And Florida does need help on that defense. Florida also added a four-star offense alignment from USC just a couple of weeks ago. Florida definitely made a big impact this spring. And they added a couple of bigger names in the chance for portal. And let me tell you, Elijah Badger is going to be a stud at receiver for Florida. I have no questions about that. But we still have a lot of questions about what Carmani McLean is going to be. But I definitely wanted to give a shout out to Florida. Because a lot of people are expecting a bad season from them in 2024 because of their schedule. And a lot of people have their questions about Billy Napier as a head coach. But they just took a massive jump in the transfer portal. And they are now near the top of the SEC for transfer portal rankings. And Billy Napier has also done a good job in the recruiting trail. And I think this is going to be a much better team from where they were in 2023. Unfortunately, they have the toughest schedule I have ever seen. So even making a bowl game is going to be difficult for them. But we will see what happens. And that is going to do it for today's video. Let me remind you guys to like the video. And also subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications so you never miss an upload. And if you guys love college football, then you will love this channel. Because we upload a ton of college football content. And we basically cover everything on this channel. So definitely consider subscribing. And also consider following my socials down in the description below. But that is going to do it guys and peace out.